When most players think of zoning characters in fighting games, they often go right to the gunners and casters of the genre, with the reputation of spamming projectiles until they deplete your health bar, or deplete your will to even continue playing the game. But what about the melee-centric zoners? The characters who, rather than pouring out every projectile they have in their arsenal, lean a bit more on their big normals to control just one lane of space and play a more honest game of keep out with their opponents. Examples of this are the classic stretchy arms of Dulcine, whip attacks from Fairy, and an obvious inspiration behind this video, Axel's good old-fashioned kunai with chain. And that, my friends, is exactly the archetype that I think Thresh, the chain warden, could slot right into. Axel from the Guilty Gear series has the tools to push his opponents out and poke them down from afar, pull them back in to create a bit of pressure, and even hold them in place to stack up some nice combination damage, all of which might look mighty familiar to your typical Thresh player. And while it's true that in Thresh's case it's usually to hold opponents in place for the carry to really be the ones to rack up the damage, I personally would love to see him fleshed out to stand on his own for Project Dell. So let's take a few minutes to dig deeper and explain how Thresh's kit could fully be adapted into Riot's fighting game. Starting off, we've got the Thresh classic, Death Sentence. Thresh binds an enemy in chains and pulls them towards his location. Activating this ability a second time while the enemy is already chained will pull Thresh towards their location instead. This is Thresh's bread and butter way of controlling the enemy's position, either by pulling him into a more advantageous space, or by reactivating to bring Thresh to their location for a bit of a more aggressive approach. For the Project L counterpart, this is where I would circle back to Axel and reference his Winter Mantis ability. We allow Thresh to throw out his chain across the screen, and on connection pull the enemy in as an unblockable pseudo-grab type move, or when the hook connects, Thresh could burn a little bit of super meter to activate it again, and instead pull himself to the enemy and follow up with some potential corner pressure or a setup combo. Up second, we've got Dark Passage. Thresh throws out a lantern that shields nearby allied champions from damage, and allies can also click the lantern to dash to Thresh's location. While the shield certainly has its uses, here I want to highlight the get out of jail free nature and distance covering use of allies actually clicking the lantern. This is an absolutely phenomenal way to rescue endangered teammates from a bad situation, and for the Project Dell side of things, my proposal is to allow Thresh to use his lantern as an assist, giving his active teammate a bit of armor properties and allowing him to make that very same saving throw and pulling them out of pressure situations, or even tagging Thresh in to switch him into the active character and additionally allow Thresh himself to throw and warp to the lantern as well, acting as a teleport and allowing him to create some space between his opponents and get back to his keep away game. Moving on to Thresh's E, we have Flay. Thresh's attacks wind up, dealing more damage the longer he waits between attacks. When activated, Thresh sweeps his chain, knocking all enemies hit in the direction of the blow. For this ability, the wind up of course just gives Thresh a way to chunk a bit of extra damage if he has wound up his attack, and for the active side of Flay, it gives Thresh even more options to shove or rake in his opponents to even more optimal positions. And I think every one of these points works great for a fighting game kit. Keep the next hit wind-up damage the same for a nice chargeable poke, maybe even make it to where you physically hold a normal button to have Thresh start swinging his chain and charge up his next attack, and additionally give two activatable versions of Flay to either push the opponent away and create more space for keeping them out, or use the second version to pull your enemy in close for a combo extension tool. And finally, that brings us to the end with Thresh's ultimate ability, the Box. Thresh creates a prison of walls that slows his opponents and deals damage if broken. He can activate this ability when his victim is already point blank to lock them inside the spectral cage, then uses other abilities to force them into its walls, or alternatively, he can use it at a distance to wall off the enemy's approach. Now for the box's fighting game equivalent, I say we actually convert it over to a classic wall-type super in the vein of Urian's Aegis Reflector rather than the full cage to match the 2D space that Thresh would be in, which he could control as a barrier that he could either force his opposition into for a full combo, or allow him to make it advance forward for the walling off style of ultimate. These options would give Thresh a great way to close out a round, or further leverage his exceptional space control. But hey, those are just a few of my ideas for the character. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of them and any other ideas you might have for Thresh and Riot's fighting game. Thanks as always for watching and catch you on the next video.